The $33 million planes are designed to withstand winds in excess of 250 kilometers per hour and are equipped with sophisticated storm tracking instruments. This mission started at 4.30 in the morning. The crew of seven is heading directly for a hurricane over the Gulf of Mexico. Shortly after takeoff, there is a briefing from meteorologist Jack Parrish. It's a fairly rapidly intensifying storm. It's now a Cat 2. Do not be surprised if it's a Cat 3 by the time we leave it today. The plane passes in and out of the storm, dropping probes called songs that measure wind speed, air pressure, and more. Researcher Jim McFadden. We'll drop maybe 20, 25 on a flight, and it has GPS in it. With the sound information, this is the forecast track. Without the sound information, this would have been the forecast track. So you see the significant improvement that you get with the drop zone. Twice each second, information is sent back to the National Hurricane Center in Miami as the probes fall through the storm to the ocean below. Lieutenant Carl Newman is the flight's navigator. And we've really done a great job in NOAA, weather service, uh, et cetera, in predicting the track but predicting the intensity of the storm has been very problematic. In fact, On this mission, the plane passes in and out of the hurricane's eye three times. It's certainly a strengthening hurricane in a hurry. Ultimately, the Hurricane Hunter's mission is always the same, to warn people when a dangerous storm is heading their way. Paul Sisko, VOA News.